It often comes as a surprise to people when I tell them that I do the majority of the cooking in my house. Now, do I cook because I want to challenge gender stereotypes, or do I cook because I'm a sexist and I believe that men make better chefs, or do I cook simply because I enjoy it and I'm good at it? Theories abound, but nobody can say for sure. Whatever the reason for my cooking, it is partly because uh, I cook so much that, that I reacted with special horror and took it personally when I read the news this week that the Biden administration wants to confiscate my gas stove and yours, everyone's. The New York Post reports, quote, the Biden administration is considering a nationwide ban on gas stoves, citing the harmful pollutants released by the appliances, according to a report. The Consumer Product Safety Commission is mulling the action after recent studies showed emissions from the devices can cause health and respiratory problems. Um, this is a hidden hazard, CPSC Commissioner Richard Trumka Jr. told the outlet. Any option is on the table. Products that can't be made safe can be banned. Reports by the groups, uh, by groups including the American Chemical Society and New York University Law School's Institute for Policy Integrity found that gas stoves, which are used in 40% of U.S. homes while the remainder use various forms of electric cookers, emit pollutants like nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and fine matter at levels deemed unsafe by the Environmental Protection Agency and the World Health Organization. The studies also link gas stoves to respiratory illness, cardiovascular problems, cancer, and other health conditions. More than 12% of childhood asthma cases can be attributed to gas stoves, according to a report published last month by the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health. Not only that, by the way, but AOC, who predictably jumped on the anti-gas stove bandwagon, tweeted that gas stoves, along with giving you cancer and asthma and destroying the planet, can also cause brain damage. And gas stoves aren't the only appliances on the chopping block. States like California and New York have already moved to ban uh, gas heaters. Any, like anything run on gas must be prohibited, apparently starting with the stoves, is what we're being told. Yes, people have been cooking with gas since the 1820s. You may have grown up in houses that only ever had gas stoves. Millions and millions of people have been using gas stoves for decade upon decade without any issue. But now, suddenly, it's a crisis. And people who never mentioned the crisis before, people who never said anything about the fact that gas stoves are giving us tumors and destroying our brains, are all quite certain now that it is happening. And they insist that drastic action be taken in response. Now, none of us from gas stove households ever noticed people being struck down with cancer or losing their minds because of the stove. Everything seemed to be working just fine. There didn't appear to be any issue at all. But there is an issue, it turns out, a very big issue, a deadly issue. People are dying. They are dying. And so we must consent to whatever exorbitant measures the powers that be prescribe. Or not. Here, here's why, just to summarize, here's why I will not consent to this war on gas stoves. And they will have to pry my gas stove from my cold, dead hands, or warm hands, as the case may be. First, there is no compelling evidence for any of the claims they are now making. What they have are a handful of studies funded, you know, usually by activist groups speculating that gas stoves may have some link, maybe, to some health problems, possibly, perhaps, in theory. Of course, you could conduct a study finding a theoretical link between literally any object or food or activity and any health problem. This is easy to do if you set out with the intention of finding the link. Second, a big part of the concern is about the supposed environmental danger. CBS News reported recently, gas stoves are contributing more to global warming than previously thought because they constantly leak small amounts of methane even while they're off, a new study has found. The same study also found that home stoves can emit high levels of nitrogen oxides, uh, raising concerns about health and indoor air quality. Even when they're not running, U.S. gas stoves are putting 2.6 million tons of methane in carbon dioxide equivalent units into the air each year, a team of California researchers found in a study published Thursday in the journal Environmental Science and Technology. That's equivalent to the annual amount of greenhouse gases from 500,000 cars, or what the U.S. puts into the air every three and a half hours. Yes, you're not only killing your children with the gas stove, you're also killing the polar bears and the entire planet with it. But what is the plan here? Okay, If we're supposed to believe that fossil fuels are destroying the planet, what happens when we get rid of the gas stoves and we convert 40 million households over to electric all at once and have increased our electricity usage by that much. Electricity is largely generated by fossil fuels also. So even by the environmentalist's own logic, aren't you simply shifting the problem, not solving it? 
Third point, gas stoves work. They just simply work. They work far better than electric stoves. Uh, they cook more evenly and efficiently. They can be controlled more precisely. An electric stove is fine for like heating up a can of soup or maybe even, fry, maybe even frying an egg. I wouldn't try to scramble an egg on an electric stove, but you can at least fry one, maybe. But that's the extent of its abilities. Most real cooking requires careful temperature control, something that isn't possible on an electric stove. Not only that, but electric stoves are harder to clean. They're more expensive to operate over the course of a year. So this is yet another example of leftist bureaucrats wanting to take something away that is more affordable and more functional, and which has been working fine for millions of people for many years. And they want to do that in favor of something crappier and more expensive. And they do all of this based on flimsy cherry-picked data compiled by activists who almost always stand to profit somehow from the change they're advocating. This is what left-wing bureaucrats do. They themselves are inefficient and useless, and so they instinctively hate anything that is efficient and useful. They basically want every aspect of our lives to be as haphazard and dysfunctional as the agencies they run. That's, that's essentially the, the uh, goal here. Fourth, finally, as always, there is the hypocrisy factor. AOC has, uh, has uh, you know, she, she's saying now that, that gas stoves cause brain damage, and yet she has taken Instagram videos in her kitchen where you can clearly see the gas stove in the background, which, come to think of it, may actually lend some credence to the theory that gas stoves cause brain damage. I mean, it would explain a lot in her case. Anyway, Jill Biden was also fit, photographed in her own kitchen in 2020 with a gas stove. And of course, these people all have gas stoves. Gas stoves are better, and the elites obviously prefer the better thing over the inferior thing. They just don't want you to have it. You can make do with your electric stove, you peon. Besides, you're supposed to be eating bugs anyway. You don't need a stove for that. That's the attitude. Which is why we must respond, no, I will not eat the bugs. I will not live in the pod. I will not overcook my chicken stir fry on an incompetent electric stove. I won't do it. Instead, I will say to those who wage war on the gas stove, you are all canceled. And that'll do it for this portion of the show as we move over to the members block. Hope to see you there. If not, talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed.